Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I have some pretty darn sweet Christmas craft ideas for you. Some of you might think it's too early, but trust me when I say these things get gone quick. So let's get busy. I picked up a candy cane wire wreath form, a microfiber cloth, ribbon, and floral pick all from the Dollar Tree. I turned the candy cane right side down on top of the cloth and I started hot gluing around the edges. I waited till I got most of it glued down before I started cutting because it stretches a little bit and I wanted it to be taut. And then I just trimmed around the other side. Once I made my cuts, I used clips to hold it in place. I cut slits where it curves around so that it'll fold easier. And then I glued it all down and trimmed it up. I wanted this bad boy to light up, so I broke out my fairy lights, and I just wrapped them around the wreath. These were only about three and a half foot long, so it was cutting it close, but it worked. I took these here fastener dots from the DT, they should just call them Velcro dots, and I stuck one side to the battery pack and one to the wreath. Well that was too sloppy for me, so I cut a piece of foam board and glued it in there so it would have something to anchor to. One didn't do it, so I cut another. So I ended up with two Velcro dots. That did the trick. Next, I took the burlap-ish ribbon strips and wrapped them at angles and glued them to the back. To finish her up, I made a bow and attached it with a tinsel stem. I clipped the berries from a floral pick and just stuck them underneath the bow. It is done. What I like about this wreath is that it looks nice with and without the lights on. I pulled out three gift boxes that I got from the Dollar Tree last year. I took 80 grit sandpaper and sanded off all the glitter. I painted the first box with Waverly chalk paint and crimson. This thing took three coats. Once it was dry, I glued down my fabric strip with Mod Podge, all four sides. I just trimmed the excess. The other two boxes I painted with Waverly chalk paint and plaster and I gave all three boxes a distressed look with the Waverly chalk paint and mineral. I did that by using the dry brush technique. You can get these paints at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, or probably anywhere they have craft supplies. I don't know about y'all but I like how they look. Okay. So my husband has a ton of pool noodles from a hack video he did on his fishing and stuff channel. So I grabbed one of those and I cut out three pieces to fit inside the boxes because I didn't have any floor foam. I picked up six of the Dollar Tree Christmas trees. I used two trees to make one because they're pretty skimpy. So what I did was take out the trees and discarded the stands. I fluffed out all the branches to one side and then I took the bare sides and put them together. I took a branch from each layer and just twisted them around the center and that seemed to hold it together pretty good. Then I removed those plastic pieces from the base and put some hot glue on there to keep it from unraveling. I tore some brown paper from the DT and stuffed it in each corner so they wouldn't be sloppy. They fit pretty snug. I ran some hot glue around those holes of the noodles and stuck them trees right down in there. Now at this point, if you like your trees without snow, you can just add some filler underneath the tree to cover the noodles. But these are gonna be a part of my decor this year. I flocked my tree last year, so I wanted to flock these trees up too. We got some flock off of Amazon for about 25 bucks. And I flocked two trees and three wreaths. And I still had a good bit left. How I did this is really simple. First, I took the trees out of the boxes. I didn't want flock on there. I used a piece of cardboard to protect my surface. I used a sifter, a spray bottle with water, and flock. First, I misted the trees. Then, the trick is to mist the flock in mid-air. So as I sifted, I sprayed the flock as it was falling. I hope that makes sense. You control how much you want on there. You can go light or lay it on heavy. Do your thing. Mine is to lay it on thick. If you're wondering if it's too messy, the answer is depending on you. And it's less messy doing these smaller trees than the big ones. 
but all flock trees come with a little mess. What I use does pretty good sticking, but it can be knocked off. Here I did a little shake test to show you that it don't fall off. You can always brush chalk paint on the tips. That works too. Once they dried, I put them back in the boxes and poked that stuffing back in the corners. The last thing I did was lay microfiber cloth underneath to hide the noodles and it looks nicer. This next DIY, I used three of the longer planks, one of the square planks, and six of the wood cubes from the Dollar Tree. First, I laid out three planks and used popsicle sticks to space them out. I hot glued the larger sticks, one to each side. My dowels came from Lowe's and they were a quarter inch by 12 inch. So I pre-drilled holes with an eighth inch drill bit and then went in with a quarter inch. That way the dowel went in but fit real snug. I held the cube in place with a pair of pliers because being a machinist for 20 plus years, you learn not to put your fingers too close to moving parts. So then I slipped on three of the cubes, two at the top and one on the bottom. I hot glued two cubes to the back and the other to the square plank, eyeballing it to the center. Then I hot glued four more wood cubes for support. I painted the top part of the sun front and back with Waverly chalk paint and plaster. The bottom I hit with the truffle. I got the window clings from the Dollar General and Mod Podge them on there. I made a stencil on my Cricut that says cut and carry and tapped on the truffle paint with as little paint as possible to keep it from bleeding. And I did the same for spruce, pine, and fir. I had a roll of burlap ribbon already so I made a bow and twisted on a tinsel stem to secure the bow and tie on to the dowel. I dovetailed both ends together. I tied the bow to the dowel. Added a little hot glue for more stability. Then I distressed it a little with mineral. I went back and cut the cling where the boards separate because I wanted to keep the separation there. And there you have it. I got this little snowman cut out from the Dollar Tree. I painted it with white acrylic paint, put a layer of Mod Podge and sprinkled white glitter and tapped off the excess. I used that plasticky ribbon for the hat, scarf, and mittens. The mittens came in a pack of wood stickers from the Dollar Tree. So I Mod Podge the ribbon down and trimmed with an X-Acto knife. I brushed on Mod Podge and sprinkled some orange glitter on the nose. I glued the mittens to popsicle sticks that I painted in truffle chalk paint. I glued a string of yarn to the cuffs of the mittens. For the brim of the hat, I ran a bead of hot glue for each row of yarn and just did that in waves, then lined the top and bottom. So I got out my pom-pom maker. You can use cardboard and you basically just open it up, wrap the yarn on one side and bring over to the other side Wrap it and then close it. Cut in the groove all the way around. Then cut off a string and wrap it around and tie. Open it up, give it a haircut, and hot glue it down. I pulled buttons out of my stash and painted them truffle. I hot glued the popsicle sticks to the back. Next I glued down all of the buttons and added a white dot to each eye, which for some reason I didn't get on camera. I wanted this feller to stand on his own, so I glued two cubes to the base vertically. Then I glued the snowman to the base. I painted the plank white and dry brushed it with mineral and glued down a cardinal from my stash. And there you have it, and I'm liking it. If you like this video, please click subscribe. And go ahead, click that there bell too. That way you'll be notified when I post the next one. Thanks for watching.